guys, I'm Sims Trooper and welcome back for another Rustic Brandleton Project Builds. Yay! <laughs> Hello guys, how are you? Hopefully your life is as loving as your love for Sims 4. <laughs> Okay, mine is actually not as sweet as my love for Sim 4 because I haven't been able to play for weeks now, I think. Um, I have tons of works and things to catch up. It's really tiring as hell and I'm barely hanging. <laughs> I suck at juggling but it was mostly my fault because again I'm bad at managing my time. I procrastinate a lot and always try to finish a job in the last minute and I've been doing this for years and it might be the power of you that always saved me. <laughs> Cause I can just stay awake for days and sleep for just a couple of hours and even if I procrastinate and juggle, I can manage to keep the balls in the air, you know, and manage to stay alive. <laughs> But lately, it's almost impossible to do that. My body and my brain just won't cooperate. I feel like my body and brain just wither and I feel like I'm going to die every time I try to stay awake for more than one day. I'm getting too old for this, am I? I don't know, is this normal? Okay, um, truth be told, it's unhealthy and most of you might say I need to stop doing that kind of things and get a grip of my life, manage my time and all, cool, true, 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 and I will try seriously, but, um, at the moment, my life is just a mess, but I will try guys, seriously. <laughs> Anyway, um, recently I read a quote that said, Never take life seriously because a new one gets out of it alive. <laughs> I think Homer Simpson said that. <laughs> Joke, I don't know whose quote that is. I'm joking, but it's kind of true, right? At least for a reminder that we need to take a break and have fun once in a while and enjoy life. So, have you guys been busy? Have you take a break and have a me time? <laughs> I hope you guys managed to have a break time for yourself in between your busy schedule. <laughs> I don't know why I can't focus when I do voice over air. <laughs> Anyways, today's build is another build I did for the Rustic Brindleton project collaboration with Dita. Her channel is Julian Nidi. As I have shouted out to you guys over and over on my videos, then with little Tyrio and simply Nabila. They have also released some of their speed build videos on the Rustic Brindleton project and their build is amazing. So I recommend you guys to take a peek there and see how they did their builds. And, and here's my attempt in building a rustic aesthetic residential house. <laughs> In this build, I was attempting to make a fisherman family home and I put like some kind of a port with a boat here which again doesn't make any sense because there's actually no exit for the boat to the sea but here's the thing, imagination is like the main core of this game so there <laughs> Imagine there's an exit for the boat to go to the sea so the fishermen can sail and go fish in the sea. <laughs> Honestly, I kept thinking that this lot isn't the right place to build a residential house because um, this place got some kind of a bay with seats and all for people to maybe eat while enjoying the seaside views. And there's actually a restaurant restaurant or cafe site in front of it, but <laughs> oh well. So um, here's the story. When we divide the lots for all of us, we do it by taking turns. And <laughs> the lot that I aimed for was actually taken. So <laughs> I tried to swap it at first, but I already started my build there and I'm like, the view here is so great and I'm just too lazy to redo the build all over again if I swap it so what the hell I decided to just finish it here and ignore all the wrong signs I also made a glass roof for the house here and I actually watched the sim supply tutorial on it before I did it in my build here 
and um, I put the kitchen and the dining area here because I thought it would be nice to cook and eat under the blue sky or the stars and it would be nice to see a family of fishermen have their warm dinner cooked by the fisherman wife from above. I imagine it like how I would see it on a movie with the first scene is capturing how the fisherman wife is cooking dinner while the children are doing their homework here then their father is home from the sea and they greet him and then they all sit in the dining table and have dinner together chatting and laughing then the camera would slowly go up then you can see them from above their glass roof and close it with a view of the starry night in the sea. <laughs> can anyone imagine what I'm talking about? <laughs> I don't know why I keep on trying to do a voiceover in English, but I'm not even sure I can explain things elaborately in English and make people understand what I'm talking about. But nice try, I'm super okay. I'm trying, I'm trying guys. Anyway, it will be a few more days until the new game pack released by EA and I literally just can't wait for it, I dream about it <laughs> because I really want it. I don't know why I'm so weird and now I'm scared that I might get disappointed once I get the game in my laptop because it might not as, I don't know, as exciting as I imagine or expect. <laughs> Hence, I've been avoiding to watch anything that show the jungle adventure gameplay or live stream because i want it to be a surprise for me and i don't want to spoil it when i play it if you get what i mean <laughs> i don't know why am i so weird um i play fallout 4 and i like post apocalypse adventure game or mystery game where we can explore face dead and fight to survive i like the thrills and the horrors that my characters might die or in this case that i might die as i'm pretending to be the characters in the game so hopefully i will have enough saving when the pack is released and i hope it's as exciting as i am imagining at the moment um, by the way, I named a lot uh, the Salty Moons because previously this is where the Salty Pals Bar reside but uh, I decided to change the name into Salty Moons because you know it's simply just because you can see the moon clearly from here and because it's above the sea. I actually suck at naming so my lot would be named with something dull or boring and forgettable. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm feeling really tired today and I think I'm catching a flu and my throat is sore and my feet is killing me now because yesterday I've been wearing my high heels the whole day and I think my feet is dead now. <laughs> Anyway, um, okay, I really hope you like today's build, click like if you do, and don't forget to drop by to Yulian Didi's Little Cheerio and Simply Nabila channel, say hi and make comment on their video if you can, I'm sure they will greatly appreciate that. Least but not the last, thank you guys for watching, I will see you soon on the next video, be happy and keep on singing guys, bye!